back on this screen. All right. Well, hello, everybody. And welcome to a new camp co-op campaign of Total War Hammer 2. Hello. For this campaign, we will be playing as the dwarves. With Rob the oh, Boss yeah. playing Kraz the Crack with Grom Brindle, the white dwarf. And I, Granarite, playing Karak Kadrin with Ungrim Iron Fist. Uh, we are playing with medium size and on easy and easy difficulty just so we can enjoy the game. Are you ready, Rob the Boss? I am ready. And here we go. All right. This is going to be good. Definitely. I hope they have a good door faction in Warhammer 3. So remember, the rules of our campaign, we can only be allied to each other. We cannot be allied in the other factions. No, okay. We cannot. We can still have non-aggression packs and trade agreements and stuff, but we can't be allied with anybody else. We also cannot confederate with any factions. All the land we will gain will be through conquering. Okay. That's the same thing we did last one. I confederated with at least one person. No, you didn't. I made sure of it. Huh, I thought I did. Are you here? Yeah. And it's my turn? Yes. All right, we are ready. And here we are with Ungrim Iron Fist, who starts with a unit of giant slayers, a unit of regular slayers, two dwarf warriors, a pair of thunderers, and a pair of quarrelers. We also have a rune priest right off the bat, which will drop into his army as well. We start with Krak Kadrin, which has the Shrayer Slime of Krak Kadrin, which gives us a garrison of two slayers and allows us to recruit slayers. We are going to go ahead and start off by building a sparring chamber. We won't keep that long, but we'll have it for the time that we need. And now we are going to go up and fight Urk Face Smasher. And being that this is the first fight of the campaign, of course we're going in. So, my best uh, thing that I could tell you, Rom, um, in this first fight, I'm going to control the ranged units and the giant slayers. Oh, yeah. I'll let you take um, the two heroes and the, um, and the other you melee can, units. You can keep the runesmith. I can keep the runesmith? You just want Ungrim Iron Fist? Yes. So, um, in future fights, I'll let you know, the giant slayers are really good, but they can't deflect missiles like the regular slayers can. Um, so, with whenever we start using the Giant Slayers, it's always good to make sure that we are um, getting any ranged units focused on other units first. So, we're going to have the main mass of this army go right here. And I'm going to have these Giant Slayers go this way. But just the Giant Slayers. When you set up your front, front line, Rob, leave a little gap, like about... A, about you know, a uh, one full unit or half a unit wide in between two of them so my Thunderers have somewhere to fire through. And I would say set up about right here. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yes. Perfect. The Thunders can't arc their shots like, you know, um, crossbows can. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. And oh, by the way, Slayers are also quicker than regular Dwarves and can run down melee units usually. Or other enemy uh, infantry units. So we are going to, 
um, s start by just firing on these two. We're going to start by firing on these two guys. That'll pull these archers up here. And then my ranged units will fire onto the archers. And then these guys will come in that way. Now we're going to halt the giant jets and try and play with them. Do what? Okay. Your giant jets are so ranked for so I was like... Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Figure you did. Excellent day. All right, we need to move everybody up like a step further. So you'll probably see, Rob, that um, Ungrim also does just have an ability right off the bat. When he's in melee, he could just like beat face. I see that. That's pretty terrifying to be honest. I'm at bonus up. I mean, I guess it's he loses melee defense though. Yeah, but if you kill him quicker, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna move my other. All right, well, now that they're coming in, Rob, it is time to charge. Charge. I know why they all went for that one. Where are you all going? The giant slayers over here are crushing into these orcs. Oh, and don't be surprised if the slayers take lots of damage every fight. That's fine. I will eventually get a power with uh, Ungrim that will give him a flat 30% bonus to replenishment. Run him down. Come on. Come on. You're, you're part slayer, aren't you? Run him down. He Run may not be. Oh, let me just broke through the front lines. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Go, go. Actually, let him go. Let, because I would rather him stay alive and be at low health whenever I attack him again than to get a new hero at full health. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to take a beat later to run people down. That's fine. Remember to take off guard mode when you do that. They're not in guard mode. Yeah, at this point, anything we can get. <laughs> I see the giant players come out from nowhere. Oh, there's that one guy. Get him. We got him. Okay. Decisive victory. We lost 12 guys and killed a whole bunch. But the Slayer is 90 kills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to see that a lot earlier. Get early game, Slayers are going to outclass a lot of Orc infantry units. moves up just a little further we get him route marcher and then we'll get our runesmith scouting for some magic item drops 
We're going to start by recruit by researching levy missile warriors, which is just reduced cross for ranged units. And we are going to recruit three units of slayers. Wow. And that's all I got. My turn. Um, Rob, I may have to have you do this next fight by yourself because I have to send another email while we're playing really quick. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to instantly upgrade Kraka, Karaza Karak into an outpost and build a gem mine shaft. You're the right door for that. I'm just going to march over and I may still see, uh, I won't be able to fight it though. You have, I mean, you have to at least put it to back stage. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. You just, just don't gift me units. I won't. Can you push back stage real quick then? Yep. I sure can. And then just to be able to see what I'm doing. I guess. Kind of. okay. Yep. And I'll let you know whenever I can hop in. Okay. So I'm playing Grum Brindle, the White Dwarf. He's, a uh, He's pretty great. He's also really, really good in melee combat. Not as cool as the ability starting off like Granny's hero, but he's still pretty great. He can still kick butt. I also have a unit of door warriors, a unit of miners with blasting charges, a regular unit of miners, a unit of curlers, a gyrocopter, and a unit of iron drakes, which are flame drakes. Front line like so, like curlers in the back. And we begin. Now this unit, this army does not have any archers, so I don't have to worry about my gyrocopter getting hurt. So I'm just gonna go over there and start wrecking people. Now I can drop bombs. So I'm gonna head over for their. General unit. Bomb. around the planks here with my iron drakes. Like so. And I'm gonna torch these guys. Iron Drakes are by far this uh, this uh, faction's starting unit. They just completely crush just about anything on the battlefield. And not, I will say they're not the, totally the best in melee combat, but units usually usually go for like half health by the time they reach the Iron Drakes. Anyway.
did lose a few dwarves, but it happens. That's my first fight over. So 150 iron tricks, 31, yeah, 31 kills. Gyrocopter with the 39 kills. Don Vino with 26. Good fight. Yeah, good job. I was watching while I was getting this information. I enjoyed it, really. I uh, remember to put uh, take them off skirmish mode so I could play around. Really yeah. And that's my first. My first um. Place taken. I'm gonna, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna recruit three units of golden warriors to my front line. Research. Gather throngs. And diplomacy. I'm already trading with the 1% I can trade at. Yeah, we're not connected to each other yet to be able to trade with each other. Not yet. And it will be a little bit. Oh, by the way, am I getting goon bad or are you getting good bad? You can have bad. And then right... I don't know if you can see on the map or not. Right here is where I stopped going south over there. Because there's a location like right here. And it's part of this one up here. Yeah. But all of this down here is yours. Yeah. I also just got uh, an ability for... Uh, so I'm with, it's called the uh, mighty period of defense. So now, every time I'm defending, um, my, my army will get armor piercing weapon damage plus 10 for all units and melee defense plus 10 for all units. Very nice. I'm hoping Star Snack will come attack me now. If he does, he gets slain. So I know we don't start out with much money and we don't get much money, but that is fine. We will we will change that all soon enough. Oh no. Get the carriage way out. Alright, Krakadrin is built its sparring chamber. We're gonna upgrade that into a clan barracks. We're gonna take Ungrim Iron Fist. And we're going towards Grashnak's Layer right here. That is our target and Ungrim did something he was not supposed to there we go hopefully we can still make it there next turn uh and i'm done okay as you can see around us we have sylvania down here to the east we have the Bone Rattlers to the north. We have some Lamian Sisterhood undead over to our east. Back down here to Kazakrak. Yep, so I got rid of my one unit of regular miners. They just don't keep useful. Got more dwarf warriors. I'm gonna march down to Mount Quickly. Good fight. Good fight. And I am here now to help. <laughs> yep. You get the coralers and the gyrocopter. <laughs> That's it. Two units. <laughs> I can give you the iron drake. Nah, I'm fine. No, I'm good. I'm just giving you a hard time. No way. I'll have more of a back with the line later for you to mess with. Where do you want me? Hmm. To be honest, I think where we are is fine. We're just going to move up on that little hill in front of us? Yeah. That is not how I want you guys. There we go. Alright, ready? You should probably move forward a little further. Oh. 
Uh, Air Corps is going in. Be -de 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 -de. Be careful with those gyrocopters, they're expensive. Will do. You got it, boss. There, we've ticked them off. As you can see, we're toying with this archer unit. We've almost broke these archers. There's flames flying into the orcs up there. Watch out where you're moving them to, yeah. <laughs> Sick them. Nice. We got, we got a tiny bit of friendly fire in there, but it has to happen sometime. <laughs> Battle is not rolling to catch it up. Take this unit with us. Well, I mean, you're sieging them. They're gone. Yeah, I know. Just kills and chevrons. And it's just really satisfying to watch. Good job, guys. Oh yeah. The gyrocopter's even getting 48 kills. Yeah. We're smoking these guys. That is the guys. truth. Probably has gone big on guys as hard as he did. Usually he doesn't get hurt that bad, but it's kind of my fault. Usually I have the iron trick like blowing flames around him, but I didn't do that this time. Yeah. So, wreck them. Now I have the Silver Road and the Mountain Trail. Now you get to focus south. You don't have to worry about the north. You might have to hold off like one or two incursions from the Bloody Spears, but um, yeah. it shouldn't be bad. Like, I have to take out the Bone Rattlers first to my north. And then I can come down and get Mount Goonbad and Grand Peak, and then I'll hop over and take that area to the east. Yeah. So that is my plan. It's going to do this little, like, figure eight motion. 
my turn. All right, Grash Snacks, Nash Racks Lair. Forty, wait, four units of Slayers. Oh my God! Just rush in and kill everybody. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, we don't have any siege equipment. We're going for them. Giant players this time. I mean, if you want to give them back, you can. I just know they have archery and five. They have two. Whoopity do. I was just gonna rush them in with the, uh, the regular slayers. Ready? Yes. It matters not where they go. <laughs> They have a wizard. Oh no, just go in. Everybody go. Yeah, they skirted right around your dwarf warriors. I mean, it's okay. The um, the corollers are really good in melee too. So. To what? I look back and all the unions are gone. They all broke. Hey, can you use in, any of your slayers to chase down those archers that haven't broken the back? There's some more goblins over here that are coming back, too.
All right, those... Yeah, we just need to hit those archers, really. There they went. Oh my god, one unit player got 102 kills. Nice. <laughs> we have numbers, we have big axes. But we have slayers. Dual dual axe wielding slayers. Broken. We lost 32 guys and they lost almost 500. All right, we're gonna occupy this place. It has exactly the building we want it to have. What building? Uh, growth. All right, we take both of these skills so we can start generating oath gold behind the scenes. We haven't got a weapon yet for anybody. So we're gonna go ahead and get, I believe the Ranger's hammer and give that to Ungrim, which will give him plus 10% weapon strength. And... Then we're done. Oh, I no, actually, I wasn't done. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, well, it's fine. If I was smart... I would have recruited some more slayers. I have about seven people in my front line and two heroes. I should be fine. I must fulfill my slayer oath. I have eight. I can't reach yes. it. Oh, see, so yeah. I mean, I, I might turn to be fast. I'm going to head south yet. Not quite yet. Excellent. We're going to move you here for one turn to recruit three quarrelers. We are then going to get Master Crosswork Bows, so our quarrelers deal more damage. And that is our turn. Onward. Just acknowledge. I'll bless your train. Yes. I'm upgrading my clan bear. I'm upgrading my clan bear. And I'm upgrading my gem mine. The dwarf's sleeping. And also. You know who I am. I want a seed book shot. Oh, great. Grimgore is already confederated with the red. He does that really quick all the time. Now we're going up for Kazid Urkulaz. This will be a tough fight, Rob. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. Oh, they're just coming for us. Yeah. 
Excellent. Thanks, BB. Tell me when. Oh, go ahead whenever you want. It's not that a critical. There's only five of them. Yeah, it's like having it right here. Rush it out. You know, I would say focus two of them on the orc boys, and then one on each goblin, and then whatever's left over, however you'd like. Ready? Yep. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so the slayers, Rob, are golden to actually charge in. Like, don't wait for them to come to us. Literally, just bash them in the face. I was letting you get some uh, kills with the archers, but they just keep them in like a. Oh, pff, I don't care. <laughs> In a bigger fight, you might care. In a bigger fight, yes. There was only th five of them. In a fight like that, by all means, just crush them. We have now consolidated. To battle. Peak Pass is now fully under our control. We are going to recruit. Let's, let's see. Let's do... One, two... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll do one more of them. And then we'll do two of them. The slayer in me seeks death. Ungrim Iron Fist. We are going to get who? Should we get extremely daring death blow or determined death blow? I think determined death blow is better because it, it happens more often because it's less than 50% health rather than getting all the way below 20%. Does that make sense? Yes. And then for our rune smith, we are going to get rune of hearth and home. I wish I could see like your actual tree that like kill. Now the reason we're destroying these is we're going to take this clan of barracks and so we're actually going to build it in Kazad or Kulaz. Even though I know it's level 2 here, we'll eventually get it to level 2 here. And we don't need any more Corollers. And I would rather have it, since it only goes up to a tier 3 settlement, being in a minor place instead of my main capital, where I can build higher level stuff there instead. Makes sense. This place, everything else is just upgraded. I could walk over and check out Mount... Silver Spear. But I still want to wait to make sure. But you won't, it'll just appear to be ruins, do you? Like, if you stay where you're at, Rob, until you're ready to move, you can then just tunnel under the mountain to go take care of the drawn. Yeah. I'm just not. I'm waiting to see where we take the mountain. Up. Oh, well, that's going to be a bit, because I have to go up north and take out uh, the places north of me from the Bone Rattlers first. I mean, that's, that's probably a good option. It's just the reason I need to go north and take them out, because if I don't, they'll come down and hit me, you know? Oh, well, that's not very nice. I thought this place had a higher garrison. Uh, crud. All right, we're just going to auto-resolve this. I'll move back and take this place. I'm going to have to. Is that your first grudge? Probably. Yep, grudge issued. Um, 
Well, I can't make it there all in one turn. I will just move here then. Uh, oh, those do 148. I thought they were less. It's probably because... Yeah, we'll just do that. That's fine. Um, ba -bum -ba -bubble. So you're going to build this. And then you... I would like to build that. So I'll get that place back next turn. Which then I actually, since I'm over here, I might just go south to Mount Goonbad. You know? Get that guild on. How much, how much do you make per, uh, per turn right now? Uh, 272, which is now going to drop by 140. So you only make 272. Oh, well, now I'm actually going negative. That's not good. All right, uh, we're just going to auto-resolve this. Yeah, I'm not really sure why. Well, no, I'm going to have to just get rid of a unit in order to... How about this terrain you have? This what? If a terrain, uh, get back to here. I can't really get rid... I can't just um, get rid of him, sadly. I could... No, no, don't worry about it, Rob. Okay, so we're taking care of that. We want to take... So, do I want to do better against Greenskins? Not really. I don't fight a lot of them. The Vampire Counts or Norska and Chaos? Let's go Vampire Counts. And then for you, let's get more scouting. Um... Did we get armor? We did get some armor. So let's get a talisman for him. We'll get the Slayer's Ring. Oh, do I still have more? I still have more. Well, then let's also get uh, Slayer's Belt. I grow restless. The Slayer in me seeks death. So the rune axe of Grumbrindel has a ability which is plus 50% armor piercing weapon damage, but is courage 10 seconds minus 16 loses. Just chilling. Now, well, now I can get twirlers. Do. I'm also gonna get a unit of grudge throwers. Yeah, this is the guy that really threw off my income. The strong is I wonder if I could just get rid of him. He, he'll keep coming back every so often, though. But I guess if I just get rid of him now, you know. I don't know, we'll have to see.
Yeah, yeah. can I disband you? There we go. All right, any growth here? They might just gem mine up to level two. Making just short of three thousand. They're mostly focused on me, so I might just start going to war with uh, Mr. Mr. Grimgore Ironhide. Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't think you need to worry at all about the bloody spears. We got a miner's pickaxe that we'll give to our runesmith. Two twenty. You make two twenty. Yeah, two hundred and twenty. Wow. How much are um, you making? Like three. Uh, I don't know. You said I can't make military alliances with other nations. You can make. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't do military alliances. Like. How about? Uh. Jump? You know, I, I, I mean, I guess you could with. They're, I mean, they're gonna die anyways with, to, to. Gr um, Grimgore. Alright, I'm gonna end the turn. We're almost there. <laughs> yeah, not special. Garrison, other dwarven. Turn recruiting, then I'm going down. You're yelling timber? Yep. I have my 20 sack army ready. What do they want? A military line for you. <laughs> you know what? Sure, you can take one with them. They're gonna die anyways. I feel like they're just gonna keep asking. Yeah. Last campaign, I have a military ally with the throne for the longest time. And then I turned around and slaughtered them. Power had to be. Where are you going? A slaughter potter. You have seven, eight units of slayers. I got reduced upkeep on them, Rob. There's no reason not to. So am I just rushing in? Might as well. Uh, I would have your some a slayer unit or two go after the um Probably wolf the wolf riders, yeah. Tell me when you're ready.
Are you ready? Robert? Yes, I'm ready. I was doing stuff. Are they coming to us? We'll just let them come to us. And then as they get close, then we'll charge into them, you know? All right, charge, Rob. Just went right around. And then they died. And since they retreated, we automatically kill everybody. Nice. Get slaughtered. Easy peasy. So were you going in next turn or were you waiting another turn? Uh, I think this turn I should be able to start moving. Okay. But you won't be able to attack anything this turn. No. I'm, I'm more just thinking whether or not I need to save the game or not now, or if we can get to my next turn and then save during it, you know? Okay, I'm sure we can get to your next turn. Oh, no. It's only 450. All right, and now we're going to get Doom Seekers, which gives our casualty replenishment rate for Ungrim and Slayers by 30% and a charge bonus of 30% to all slayers as well. Wow. And that's upgrading and that's done and then I'm done. Now sadly we won't be able to go into Goonbad right away whenever we uh, get there because I don't have any siege equipment. It's going to make me build something. But that's fine. Our biggest worry was the bone rattlers coming and taking like Kazad or Kubaz, but it looks like they they're somewhere else at the moment, which is awesome. I'll just find the Empire, because I think they're usually dead. That is true. Oh, the stabby eye and the bloody hands of Fezzerwood. That's not a surprise. Alright, so we tout Mount Goonbad. And it'll take us one turn to build a battering ram, which means we can go in next turn. <laughs> Are you attacking something on your next turn? Okay, well that means that we are going to end this episode here. Yeah. And next episode, we will come in with the fight of Ka um, Kazan Karak against uh, the war against Grimgore Ironhide. Yep. While we take Mount Goonbad, which will establish a trade route between us. And then we will continue to move... 
against our enemies. So we hope you've all enjoyed thus far, and we'll see you next time.